Apple just released iOS 16.3 beta 2 almost a full month after the release of beta 1. And this is going to be officially the first release from Apple in the new year 2023. So in this video, we're going to discuss what's new in the software and what to expect next. And in addition to this iOS release, we also got the second beta for iPad OS 16.3, Mac OS 13.2, Watch OS 9.3, TV OS 16.3, and HomePod OS 16.3. And as far as as the size for this update you could see it came in at 6969 megabytes on my iPhone 14 Pro Max I see what you did there Apple and if we go and check out the build number for this new version if we go to settings general about 16.3 we could see the new build number there is 20d 5035i and the i at the end of the build number does indicate that we are not even close to the final release yet we probably have a few more betas to go all right so now what's new here in iOS 16.3 beta 2 and the first thing is inside of our settings if we go to emergency SOS you will see that we have quite a few changes here so first off call withhold is now call withhold and release and then also the verbiage below that has changed as well it now says if you continuously hold the side button and either volume button the countdown begins and an alarm sounds after the countdown if you release the buttons iPhone will call emergency services and below that call with five presses is now call all with five button presses so that has changed and you can see the verbiage below that is also adjusted a little bit and then below that countdown sound is now call quietly and it says if you start an emergency call using the gestures above warning alarms and flashes will be silenced and this does the exact same thing as before but now instead of turning this off to silence the alarm you now need to turn this on to silence that emergency sos alarm we also have a change to our private relay settings so if we go to our settings and go to our apple id and then to icloud and then down here to private relay if we turn this on and then right back off you can see that before we had this cancel button where you could turn off or turn off until tomorrow or you could also cancel to get out of this menu well now in 16.3 beta 2 we don't have that option you just either can turn off until tomorrow or turn off completely if you try to tap outside of that it doesn't do anything you have to turn it off if you disable that toggle and then also in our apple id section and settings if we go to password and security and then down to add security keys you are now able to add a physical security key to add another layer of security for your apple id account so this of course was introduced in beta 1 nothing has changed here with the verbiage or anything in beta 2 but I would imagine that it has been you know worked out a little bit of the kinks getting worked out because I'm sure there are quite a few bugs with this you do need two security keys for this to work by the way so if you just have one that's not going to work which I had to order another one just so I could add this to my account so just keep that in mind you need a backup key as well so if you go to order a Yubico or you know uh, Titan or whatever you want to buy make sure you have two of them one for primary use and then one for backup in the fitness application we have a couple of new additions here so first off we have the kickboxing workout type so you can see we have the different workout classes right here for kickboxing this was added via a server-side update just yesterday so it does not require iOS 16.3 but of course it does require Apple Fitness Plus and then also for meditation there is a new sleep meditation types so if you go down here you can see that we have meditations for sleep that is also new and just added yesterday there's a new Beyonce artist spotlight so you can see a bunch of different workouts that have music by Beyonce which is in my opinion one of the best artists for workouts there are new time to walk guests and also there are three new trainers for Apple Fitness Plus workouts so a lot of additions here to Apple Fitness Plus that just got pushed to the application yesterday however there is still no sign of a custom accessibility mode so this was found in the code of iOS 16.2 along with like splash screens and screenshots of it but we still don't have any sign at least forward facing at least for us to see of custom accessibility mode now taking a look at the release notes you can see once again just like beta 1 there are absolutely no release notes so Apple has refused to tell us pretty much anything about iOS 16.3 so whether that means there are just no known issues or no known bugs in this update or if they are just keeping it kind of on the lowdown for now maybe until a later beta or until the final release I'm not sure but the release notes are completely empty once again for beta 2. now I will say that something interesting happened in my control center for my home kit devices you could see that they have been kind of replaced with different devices so my Apple TV here and then also my AC unit or my you know thermostat right there has been added and it kind of replaced some of my home pods 
which is interesting and obviously some of these still are not working because of and you can see it kind of just moves around there so every time i swipe down it seems like one of them moves places which is kind of weird definitely a bug i do not like that but of course we do still have the home issue where the you know accessory is not responding so apple should release an update soon to fix all of the issues that are continuously ongoing with the home application and that home architecture updates now as far as the performance goes performance feels about the same as beta one so far i haven't really had a ton of time with the software yet so my first instincts you know my first impressions are that it's pretty much exactly the same as beta one however i am going to run a quick geekbench test here to see how it scores compared to beta one and also so iOS 16.2. So we scored an 1873 on the single core and a 5259 on the multi-core. And compared to iOS 16.2, you can see it's lower in both categories and it is about the same as beta one. So don't expect iOS 16.2 like performance. Honestly, though, it's probably going to be about the same. I mean, it's really hard, you know, at this point to see a difference in this version versus like iOS 16.2. I would imagine they're pretty much the same in terms of stability and just overall performance because I don't really have any bugs here on 16.3, you know, besides the same ones that are on 16.2. So don't expect any big change in performance. And the same goes with battery life. Battery life to me, has been exactly the same as 16.2 so i'm not going to spend much time there don't expect many changes in terms of either performance or battery life all right so now let's talk about what to expect next from apple so today is january 10th it's a tuesday now what comes next could either be 16.3 beta 3 or ios 16.2.1 so of course a beta is only for beta testers 16.2.1 will be a final release now we could see that as early as this week so we still could see 16.2.1 either on wednesday the 11th or thursday the 12th however we could also see that coming next week on the week of the 16th i think that apple needs to push out a 16.2.1 as soon as possible to fix the major home architecture bug which apple had to actually remove from the 16.2 update because it was so bad and then as far as ios 16.3 beta 3 we could see that either next week the week of the 16th or the week of the 23rd it's hard to say apple at this stage usually does go on a weekly release schedule and if that were the case we would see beta 3 on the 17th or 18th however we're not expecting the final release of 16.3 for at least a month so it would also not surprise me to see beta 3 released on the week of the 23rd i don't think we're going to see an ios 16.3 the public release until either late february or even early march it's hard to say right now but i think we are still a ways away from seeing that 16.3 final release so there you have it that is ios 16.3 beta 2 not too much going on here just some minor verbiage changes inside of settings and also we do have those additional changes in the fitness application hopefully we see some more major changes and additional features added in later betas but we still do have a ways to go before the final release so we should see a little bit more in the coming weeks but if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my future ios 16.3 videos but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon